Okay, here are a couple problems from your homework tonight. All right, if a line has a y-intercept of 10, so y-intercept of 10 gives me 0, 10, and the other point they gave us was negative 3, 2. Now all they want me to do is find the slope, so I'm going to use my slope formula. 10 minus 2 over 0 minus negative 3, which gives me 8 over 3 as my slope. Okay, remember, y-intercept has a 0 as an x value, and whatever the y-intercept is, that ends up being your y value of that ordered pair. Okay, so number 2, y-intercept of negative 5 means 0, negative 5, and then 14, 2. So we're going to say negative 5 minus 2 and 0 minus 14, which gives me negative 7 over negative 14. Remember, a lot of y'all are still forgetting right here, you've got to reduce those double negatives, and this is going to become a positive 1 half. Okay, number five and six gave you the slope and a point, so I'm just going to work one of these out. I'm going to work number five out. Okay, so I'm going to start with my slope being negative two over five, and I'm going to use the uh, slope formula and plug my point in. Okay, when I cross multiply, okay, now remember that means five times y plus two equals negative two times x minus four. Okay, so that's going to give me 5y plus 10 right here, and negative 2x plus 8. All right, in standard form, x and y are together on the same side. In slope-intercept form, um, you have y by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do slope-intercept form. So I'm going to pull my 10 over. Okay, and that's going to give me 5y equals negative 2x minus 2. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by 5, and it just gives me both a fraction, which is fine. y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 2 fifths. Okay, now, when I go to do standard form, I'm actually going to start from this point right here to do my standard form. So I'm going to start from 5y plus 10 equals negative 2x plus 8. And I'm going to rearrange from here. So I'm going to pull my 2x over and make it positive. Leave my 5y positive. Subtract my 10 and it gives me negative 2. Okay, so you'll do the same thing for problem number six. Okay, so number seven and number eight, you do just the same way, except the first thing you have to do is find the slope. So like, for instance, I'll start seven. I'm not going to finish it. Negative 10 minus negative eight over negative two minus two gives me negative, sorry, negative two over negative four, which is one half. So then I would just set that one half up using one of my points and cross multiply from there. Again, getting slope intercept and standard form for each one. Okay, so the last problem I'm going to do is one of your R problems. So I'm going to set it up the same formula way. The slope equals y minus y over x minus x. In this situation, we're going to simplify 3 minus 5. That's going to give me negative 2. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 2 times r minus 9 equals 3 times negative 2. So 2r minus 18 equals negative 6. Add your 18, so 2r equals 12. And divide by your 2, and r would equal 6. Okay, I think you have one more of those. Plus, you've got to do your um, two points. So I think that's a 6, 7, 8, 10. And I did one and two, so you got to do three, four.